Ross on your wrist plain giant. The following video is broadcasting live, and thank you for being my studio audience. Thank you for hitting thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more black news, celebrity entertainment, and a splash of controversy. What up and welcome back. It's your girl Jane, the plainest Jane, and we got some syrup to get into. The co-host was causing hell. Okay, I saw y'all in the chat like, Jane, where you at? You late, you late. Listen, to get this co-host, right? Not yet, not yet, buddy. Not yet. In due time. Patience. It's a virtue. Listen, this co-host ain't want to participate, and I'm just letting him know, like, look, if you want to eat dinner tonight, you need to you need to get on the clock, okay? He need to earn his keep around here, okay? And you know, he been, he, he been, you know... He's getting used to a certain type of treatment being a co-host, but he be, he, be, he be holding this up. He be holding this up. Come on in on the bus. Hit thumbs up. Look, y'all see the title. We talking about some very serious shit. You know, I always have my sense of humor with me, even when we're talking about some really serious and egregious things, okay? And this is going to be one of those videos that YouTube is not really going to monetize it because we're talking about some real stuff. Like, obviously, we're talking about great minus the G and all that other stuff. So I'll just remind you, listen, it is so free to donate to this channel, okay? It doesn't cost anything to donate a thumbs up and a subscribe if you like my delivery, my vibe, and all that other stuff. But don't forget, the options are here, not mandatory, for you to support via Cash App or Super Chat or Super Thanks, okay? Wanted to remind you, but don't, don't trip, chocolate chip. If this ain't your pay week or whatever, just hit the thumbs up button because it's free and it's very much appreciated. So let's get into it. R. Kelly is not the only musician who is recording his sex crimes. Let's talk about it again. Mystical caught up for these crazy allegations again. 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 Some people just don't ever learn. So today we're going to go over the full details of yesterday's arrest of Mystical. By now, we've all pretty much heard it, right? And if you follow me on Twitter, you've been seeing me tweet um, mild updates throughout the day. I didn't want to give you everything that I had to really unpack in this video. But you know, you are totally in the loop and in the know when you're following me on Twitter. So we're going to get into, again, the full details of the aggressive rapper Mystical, right? He's been booked again for sexual assault. And look, aggressive it can be a very a very heavy and a very charged word when we're talking about black folk black men but listen we calling him aggressive because that's who he is that's that's just the track record no isolated incidents that is the track record <clears throat> that mystical has laid down via whatever it is that he does outside of the studio and what he does in the studio i mean come on we got a whole song called shake your ass okay he literally said in the lyrics, I came here with my dick in my hand. Then he's, he's saying it so aggressively. He said, don't, don't make me leave here with my foot in your ass. Be cool. Like, damn, you come in here with your dick in your hand. And then you trying to, it's giving aggressive. It, it, it's giving aggressive. It's giving, why didn't we see this before? <laughs> I mean, this, you add this to what he's being accused of every six, seven years. It makes perfect goddamn sense. And we're going to get into, and we're really going to break down. We're going to go through the full list of charges, the details leading up to this horrific incident. And we're also going to get into all of Mystical's past arrest history. I have almost all of the mug shots on the thumbnail. I couldn't fit for so many, right? But we're going to go over this stuff. So look, come on. We got some things to get into. It's already 143 of us in here. Happy Monday. Okay. We made it to the end of another day, the beginning of another week. And I hope that it's going good for you this week far so listen stickies okay as you load in on the bus as you find a seat on the bus make sure you hit thumbs up and look drop some pancakes in the chat and let's get into it the plane is jane this is one of my favorite comments here she says i loves me some black and she said loves me some <laughs> black news she says is it just me or does anyone else get tired of seeing people that don't look like them delivering info about them day in and day out And I do want to give a special shout out to my channel members. I know there's a new ch person who joined the channel um, while the live was getting ready. But look, let me go ahead and pay my co-host, right? Because he don't like not being paid. Look at him. Look, 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 look. He like, what, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, hey, let me get, what's going on? He said. Real quick, look, I hope that y'all are feeling all right. All right, Leo, the people wanted to see you for us. Can you just show them your face? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. That's, that's it. 
Okay. Is that it? Are we good? Are we good? Okay. We good. You verified that there's nothing left. Okay. All right, Leo, get in. It's time to start the video. You a beautiful co-host. I promise you, you are. But we got to get the show going. Can you get down, please? Can you get down, please? Leo, get down. Thank you. Excuse me. And, and I need you to move out the way, please. Thank you. Woo. Lord, have mercy. Real quick, I hope y'all are feeling all right. If you're not feeling all right, hopefully the cat brought you a little joy. Leo, you can't sit here and play with a bag while I'm on the live. Stop. Leo, stop. You see what I go through? I be trying to give y'all the entertainment y'all need, but sometimes. <sighs> Look, I hope y'all are feeling all right. You know, I always mention mental health when we come into these videos. If you haven't already checked on your own invisible problems, your own spiritual warfare, you really have no business checking in on what these celebrities are doing when they're running them up or otherwise. So make sure you're tapped into that. Shout out to my new subscribers. Thank y'all again for 10,000. It means a lot. And of course, before I get into breaking down today's topics and viral events, make sure y'all subscribe. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, I really appreciate it. But okay, make sure you thumbs up or down. Either way, I appreciate it. But make sure you think critically or independently, regardless of what you hear from me or anybody else. Now, let's get right into it. We're talking about mystical. You see this man right here on the thumbnail, okay? I want to start this off by saying, I think he's really broke, right? We're going to talk about what substances were alleged to have been in the home and some of the really shocking details. I think he goes without saying, but I'm going to give you the courtesy of saying trigger warning. Trigger warning, we're obviously talking about great minus the G, right? So trigger warning if you're sensitive to subjects that reference sexual battery or assault, okay? So this may not be the video for you, or you might want to check it out at a time when you're more strapped um, to handle such subject matter, Okay. Now, let's go ahead and talk about it, right? So, Mystical was arrested yesterday. He was booked for alleged aggravated sex crimes again, okay? Now, several charges, including false imprisonment, rape in the first degree, and that's not even it. There are more. We're going to get into that. You obviously saw strangulation in the title, right? There's some other stuff in addition to all of that. This is Mystical's third time being arrested for ag alleged aggregated sex crimes, over the past two decades, like literally he was being accused of these things when I was in high school, between middle and high school, as a matter of fact, right? They go all the way back to, oh my God, I was younger than that. 2002, I ain't trying to give away my age, but baby, when I tell you I was on my way to middle school, okay? He's been accused of this stuff for a long time. These allegations have been following him. And, uh, you know, from my understanding, there are quite a few people who are, 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 are taking up for him. Um, these things were caught on tape, right? At least the things from, from back in 2002 were, right? So again, this was a violent assault that took place. It took place on Saturday, although he was arrested on Sunday, okay? And like I said, we're going to get into his full criminal history and how this is literally his third time being accused of rape. Right. And then false imprisonment, which can sometimes be interchangeable for kidnapping. OK, so here's what happened. Here, here's what happened just to, to set the tone. And there's 180 of us here right now. We got 120 thumbs up. Thank you all for hitting the button. OK, hit that thumbs up button. I really do appreciate that. So Mystical accused this woman, the, 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 the victim of this situation that got him arrested yesterday, accused her of stealing a hundred dollars cash from him before punching her. Now stick a thumbtack in that because when we go back to his 2002 charge, which he was convicted and he did do six years in prison, there's also a similar allegation here as well. Egregious, egregious. Um, accused her of stealing $100 cash before punching her, choking her, pulling braids out of her hair and taking her keys and phone to prevent her from leaving. That is the, the, the definition of false imprisonment, right? And, you know, all things stated in this video are alleged in accordance to reports. There's a full copyright disclaimer in full effect down below in the description box. I'm just covering my butt because I feel like he's broke. And if he wanted to be frivolous, he could try to sue people who are literally reading his charges off of the website. As a matter of fact, let me pull up the charges so that y'all can see the seriousness of it because strangulation is listed here, right? 
So here we can see this. Let me make it a little bit bigger as we go through some more details, right? And let's see. So here's what the victim said. The woman said that she began looking all over Mystical's home for the missing money. He's accusing her again of stealing a hundred dollars. She's helping him, looking all over the home, hoping that her actively assisting him and trying to locate these funds in his home, trying to prove that she didn't steal this money, that it would help calm him down to an extent, right? Obviously, it didn't. But during the search, the victim told deputies that she stumbled upon a crystalline substance in a drawer and investigators hypothesize that it may have been meth. Meth. Okay. So this woman described mystical as going through bizarre mood swings, bizarre mood swings. And one moment berating her over the missing money and the next moment becoming very apologetic and asking her to pray with him. So th this definitely sounds like a array of different emotions. And, you know, we weren't there, right? I I'm not trying to discount um, or, or, you know, or discredit her story or her experience, but it's really easy to believe considering Mystical's track record, okay? Now, this woman also described um, that he reportedly asked in, in the midst of all that, the mood swings, the accusation of, her, you know, stealing money and, and all that other stuff that he asked if he could feel her. Literally asked if he could feel her, right? So he went from tripping out, being upset, being enraged. Hey, can you pray with me to, hey, can I feel on you? Just a whole array of different things in the midst of also being apologetic as well. When he asked if he could feel on her and she refused, that is when Mystical allegedly pushed her onto the bed and forcibly raped her, right? Crazy. You know, these are crazy allegations and even crazier realization. Um, so after the assault, Mystical again demanded that this woman return the missing hundred dollars through cash app and gave the woman, her phone so that she could pay him. Cause remember she, he had took her cell phone. So he gave her the phone back and said, Hey, pay it to me on cash app. Now, while she's busy setting up the cash app payment, mystical allegedly took the phone back and entered the amount of 150 rather than the initial 100 he accused her of and sent the payment to himself. So look, after that, he gave her phone back and the woman was finally allowed to leave after the mood swing after, can I feel you? Can I touch you? Can I, can you pray with me after him apologizing and taking an extra $50 on top of what he felt like she may have took. Now keep in mind, if the, the crystalline substance that she's referencing is indeed a hardcore drug or whatever the case is, he could have very much been in, um, in an induced state. And I'm not making an excuse for him. I'm just saying it, it could um, be one of the contributing factors as to why he was so erratic and all over the place, right? On, on that stuff, right? Now, as the victim drove away, she phoned a friend who agreed to meet her at the hospital. There was a sexual assault kit that was performed on the victim and deputies found injuries consistent with her description of the attack. So we go from, okay, these are allegations to she's really got these. And, and there's a, you know, if you you know how rape kits go, the different tears and, and, and scars and marks, um, they do have a way of assessing whether these things were forcibly done or not, right? Without trying to get too graphic. As of yet, there's been no bond yet posted for mystical following his arrest yesterday. Now his full list of charges, let's get into that, okay? Includes first degree rape, simple robbery, domestic abuse battery, which is the strangulation that we saw on the rap sheet that I just pulled up, false imprisonment, stopping someone, barricading someone from leaving any place, even if it's your own place, is false imprisonment, and simple criminal damage to property, okay? 
Someone says, I hope she doesn't drop the case. He needs to be locked up. Mother twerks. I absolutely agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. Um, thank you so much, Uncle Stu, the old man on the block for the $10 super chat. I really do appreciate that. They say congratulations on your 10,000 subs. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm working my butt off. We got another live scheduled um, for after this live that I've already gotten together that we can enjoy and, and talk about on the Black News Bus a lot of different things um, that, that are going on today outside of this. I wanted to break this down separately. So here's the thing. Let's go back to 2002, Okay. Mystical previously faced sexual crime allegations in 2002 after sexually assaulting his stylist. Do you all remember that? Because I remember that story very vividly back when I was in school. Do you remember these allegations from 2002? Now, in 2004, he eventually pled guilty. But do you remember these allegations? Drop a one in the chat if you remember these allegations from 2002 of Mystical doing this to his hairstylist. Drop a two if you don't remember or you're just learning about it and you're waiting for your girl Jane to catch you up, okay? Um, because I definitely remember these things. Let's get into this, because th this is where that tape, they found the tape in a safe, you know, it goes to court, but it doesn't, but it does, but it doesn't. It's, it's sticky. It's sticky and it's, it's, it's quite nasty and horrific, to be completely honest with you. Um, so let's get into this tape and the plea deal that he actually copped at that time. Okay. Hey, thanks for letting me keep you connected and in the know with what's happening in the black world. Don't forget to smash on that like button for support and for more black news. Okay. So thank you all for hitting thumbs up. But here's one thing I wanted to show you really quick. As we get into this whole tape situation, I was floored. If you follow me on, um, if you follow me on Twitter, you already know. Because I posted this and it really tripped me out. It really, really tripped me out. Let's take a look at what Mystical's Wikipedia page said today. You know, you go take a stroll, right? You know, I'm doing my research all throughout the day. Mystical on Wikipedia, it says, you know, it's got his legal name here. Better known by his stage name, which is Mystical, is an American rapper and rapist. <laughs> what do you have? I said, how long has, have they been outlining him as a rapist on Wikipedia. I know a lot of people feel like, oh, if you're using Wikipedia, it's not credible, so on and so forth. And, you know, sometimes that may be true because it's it, it's based on how people contribute to it, right? They took this down, right? This was like this earlier today. They removed the rapist part. But I mean, wh why you remove the truth? <laughs> why, why you remove the truth? Leave it up. Leave it up, fam. <laughs> Leave it up. Okay. But let's keep going. Let's get into this tape. This is why we're really here. This sir. Eventually, again, Mystical previously faced sexual crime allegations in 2002 after sexually assaulting his stylist. He copped a plea. It went from aggregated, aggravated rape down to sexual battery. OK, and this is because he gave a guilty plea. He copped a plea deal. Right. So when we talk about this tape in 2002, let's go back to July 3rd, 2002. Police seized the videotape of Mystical and two bodyguards allegedly gang raping a woman on July the 3rd. This is an incident for which they'd all been charged for aggravated rape and extortion, okay? Aggregated rape, aggravated rape, excuse me and extortion from a man who was somewhat in the peak of his career. I mean, between Shake It Fast and everything else, former No Limit Soldier. And, and, and you know, sometimes you wonder like, man, you got all this money, you got all this access, you're not a bad looking guy per se. You look pretty crazy in this, in this here thumbnail and this mugshot, but before all this sexual deviancy and, and coming up, he's not a terrible looking person. But we know that when people are taking things such as, a, you know, a woman's or anyone's body, it's about power. It's about power and control. So him and his bodyguards gang raped a woman. Let's get into these details. But first, baby. Let's go to the bush because this is out of pocket. It was gone. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really. I, I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. Okay, so here's the deal. Mystical actually invited 
his 40-year-old hairdresser to his home on July 3rd to braid his hair, right? But when she arrived, he accused her of cashing a check drawn on his account without his authorization. Remember, I told you to put a thumbtack in what we were discussing earlier. He was accusing a woman of stealing $100 from his home on Saturday. This, back in 2002, he's alleging that his hairstylist, hairdresser, was allegedly uh, cash $80,000 worth of checks. So here's the thing. Here's where the extortion comes into play, right? <clears throat> he allegedly threatened to turn her over to the police unless she performed oral sex on him. Now, during the act, he called his bodyguards. He's literally raping her in the mouth. And he calls his bodyguards, Leland Ellis and Versi Carter, and summons them to the house, right? His home at the time. Now, the one bodyguard filmed Mystical having sex with her, and also the other two bodyguards, sexual acts with the woman, were also taped. So they, they recorded it all. There was, there was no question. There's no he say, she say about this situation. They recorded it. Excuse me. All three of them did. And so she called the police the next day and a search of um, Mystical's home, it turned up the video camera and a safe in which police say that they found the videotape. Now, on July 9th is the day that the detectives opened the safe and R. Kelly's attorney sent the hairstylist, the victim, the 2002 victim, right, who had been gang raped by Mystical and his bodyguards, Mystical's attorney sent the hairstylist an affidavit in which she affirmed that the sex acts she engaged in with the three men were consensual. However, police say she met with him the next day saying she was confused. She felt pressured by the attorney when she signed the affidavit and she still wanted to press charges. So by the time the bodyguards, my dream was literally almost a year later, like 10, around about nine to 10-ish months later, Mystical and the bodyguards found out they had um, an arrest warrant and they turned themselves in. Now, Mystical was released on a quarter million dollars bond, 250 grand. The other two security guards, a whole nother story, right? So here's the thing, because... Mystical is a New Orleans-based rapper, right? He's, he's from New Orleans. And the New Orleans aggregated, aggravated rape charges, um, you, you face a maximum, right, of a 10-year sentence there and 15-year sentence for the extortion charge, right? So again, for this, he spent six years in prison, Mystical, Right? I mean, just recording your, your your sexually deviant acts and all that other stuff, it's 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 uh one thing that I do remember in the midst of my research, and I didn't write it down, but I do remember it. The judge said to him when he was in court for this, the judge said, I do not believe that you'll stop. You feel like you're above the law. Um, and, and the judge was kind of reluctant to even give him his lesser sentence because the, the, the plea deal that he gave, it lessened the amount of time that he got. Here's why, right? Again, he would have gotten 10 years had the district attorney and the victim not negotiated to reduce the charge. It's not that the woman wanted to the hairstylist, right? It's not that she wanted to it's not that she wanted to reduce the charges. It's that if they were to proceed with the aggregated, aggravated rape charge, the videotape would have had to had been played in court and it would have had to had been made a part of the public record. And so in order to maintain her dignity and to avoid any collateral humiliation, if you will, she didn't want that to be a part of the public record, but he still did serve six years for his time, but he would have gotten 10 or more, you know, when you add the extortion in there, right? So 
Mystical also underwent sexual assault counseling and he also did community service. In addition to that, he settled with the woman for an undisclosed amount of money in order to prevent her from filing a civil suit against him ever or in the future. That's that from 2002 to 2004, right? Because it, it took him a while before, until he pled guilty. It was a, a somewhat of a lengthy legal proceeding. 2002, 2004. Now, like I said, this is the third time Mystical has been hit with this stuff over the span of two decades. This is a tiger that literally ain't going to change his stripes. This is a dog that you cannot teach new tricks to. This is a dog who cannot be rehabilitated, right? Because he's had to take different classes for, um, he's had to take these, these, these classes to help wean him off of, so to speak, being a right, you know, an, an alleged rapist, right? But let's go to 2017. Mystical was arrested again in 2017 for alleged assault and kidnapping. Remember, I was telling you earlier about the um, the force. What is it? Unlawful. What is it called again? strangulation. I, I forget what it's called. Lord have mercy. I, it just slipped my mind. Um, but he, he likes to trap people when he wants to have control over a situation. He likes to trap them and, and, and stop them from leaving. Okay. <laughs> a dog that needs to be false imprisonment. That's what it was. I don't know why that slipped my mind. I wanted to call it unlawful imprisonment. They said, this is a dog that needs to be neutered and castrated. I, okay lock him up and throw away the key that's how i feel but let's go on to 2017 because this is relatively short although this is a sexual assault charge right for alleged assault the sexual assault charge from 2017 was eventually dropped mystical was released from jail on three million dollar bond now mind you he was hit with kidnapping and first degree rape but it's heavily noted that the sexual assault charge was dropped. The kidnapping, not so much. Not so much. So, you know, somebody said he was telling us, yeah, I mean, when we when we get to the too many chances, why was he free in the first place? That's my thought, right? When I get to my, my thoughts and unanswered questions about this situation, I don't understand how he was free in the first place because it was very well known that this was his pattern. Uh, you know, what I mean, I'm, I'm hearing about this in high school and everything else. Why was he free and able to do this again? What what's really going on? Lock him up and throw away the key. Period. Point blank. Like, <laughs> he's sick. Sick in the head. Like, what's going on? I, I want to know how you feel about this, Stickies. How do you feel about it? I'm not even... When it comes to something as serious as rape, is how many charges, how many chances are you supposed to be given? Okay. This is the third time. Third time's a charm. How much time, how much time is he getting this time? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. I have a picture of his home, but I'm not going to show the picture of his home because I feel like that's just a bit much, even though it's um it's public record. And uh, but I, I just won't show it. Because I just feel like it's a bit much. Let's get into his net worth. And, and not that being broke or struggling is an excuse. I just want to know, like, what, what? where is he at now? Where is he at now financially? Is he struggling? What is he so... Well, you know what? He's always been angry. I really think it doesn't matter. I really think it doesn't matter. Because even when he was at the peak of his career, he still... Um, he, th this was still some of his behavior. Okay. His net worth earnings in 2022, where we at? A million dollars. That's just a net worth. That's not how much disposable income you have, but that's just an alleged net worth. Okay. Oh, not negative $27. You know, it's um, it's a lot. And thank you so much, Just Jay, for putting the National Sexual Assault Hotline in the chat. It's free, it's confidential, and it's 24 7. If you need a resource, I understand this might be a very triggering video, but you know, over here, we have fun. We laugh and joke. We, we, we talk about things that aren't, th there's balance. We talk about heavy stuff. We talk about not so heavy stuff, but this is something that definitely needs to be talked about. You know, we got a lot of these celebrities and, you know, we get into 
not to victim blame, but talking about stories like this, it kind of helps us understand as women how to uh, better avoid situations like this, whether it be a man with money, status, resources, wealth, or whatever the case is. Um, these stories are important to talk about and to put everybody on alert and let them know if he does get out in 17 years, when R. Kelly gets out, if uh, whenever the case is, we need to make sure he has this stain on his record. He was already registered as a sex offender because he had to be. Okay. <laughs> he had to be. So what, what do you think? How much time should he get for this? This is the third time he's been accused of it. Although third time, one of the set of charges were dropped. The other two stuck. The, the One of them were on, uh, he recorded. What's What's going on with this? Let me know. I was really shocked when I went through the details of this entire situation, um, especially of him being very erratic um, and, and going through that rare of emotions. Can you, I'm sorry. Can you pray for me? Can I feel you? Oh, I can't feel you. Well, let me take it. Give me my money. Give me a hundred, but I'm gonna take a hundred fifty. What is wrong with you? Like, what is, you should have never been free in the first place, you low down dirty dog. He's an animal. He's an animal. Out of pocket for that shit. Way out of pocket. What do you gain from that? They said if he's 80 doing the same stuff, then you know, hopefully he don't have enough strength to do it when he's 80, you know? But, you know, who's to say? We can't make these assumptions because, I mean, if, if somebody's determined to be deviant, these sexual deviant acts, we see so many of these celebrities doing stuff like this. If they're determined, they're going to do it. And I mean, especially when you have people that have money and have yes men around them. He's got security guards, bodyguards that are okay with it. No different than how R. Kelly and his entourage were okay in helping him hold people captive and false imprisonment and kidnapping and all this other stuff. These are rumors that literally have followed this man for over 20 years, over 20 years. If you're not rehabilitated from whatever the hell it was that you were doing in two years, science tells us, psychology tells us that you are not going to change. You're going to keep doing it regardless of what the wrongdoing is, let alone something as serious as this. Something as serious as this. They say he's a career, yeah, he's a career predator. He's a career criminal that's just what it is he won't stop you know and he's had some pretty decent attorneys because he should have been had a lot more time than this he's i found several pictures in my research today of him smiling with his different attorneys while he's in his jumpsuit because he really felt like he was going to get away with this and he was above the law which is why the judge said that in the courtroom back in 2004 for the 2002 case so you know this is, they said, wasn't he dishonorably discharged in the military? Ooh, good question. No wonder he joined the No Limit Soldiers. Because he was an ex-soldier. I'm going to have to research that before I get that. that thank you for bringing that up. Because I'm going to research that when I get off camera. Okay. Um. Oh, just discussing. Um, listen, everyone, be sure to tag me in your favorite trending topics on Instagram and on Twitter. If there are things happening in real time, if you're trying to check in and see how I feel about something midday on social media in between videos while I'm at work out and about, make sure you tag me in your favorite trending topics on Instagram and on Twitter. Y'all know I'm on Twitter more than anything, but I'll be checking in on Instagram as well. If you haven't already taken a moment to hit the thumbs up button, I'd really appreciate it if you would do so now. Again, it's free. I saw I got a couple of cash apps and some of you all have been asking asking me to not shout you out or say your name when you give a cash app. Although I do like to acknowledge when people are donating to the channel. Okay. Um, but yeah, thank y'all so much for coming through. I'm going to go ahead and end this one because we do have another black news bus coming up and another show that we are going to do this evening with a lot of different trending topics from today. So shout out to all 300 and basically 340 of us. 341 of us are here. We got 202 thumbs up. Listen, those free donations to the channel, they mean so much. They mean so much. Katazi, what are you talking about? What? Kantasi Baron, what you talking about? Oh, you said you need more. Oh, I'm gonna be back. I did this was short. Y'all gotta get used to it. Look, I'm, I'm experimenting with the different 
with the different with the format. See, because I could have put this into the other six topics we're gonna be talking about later tonight, but I'm like, that's gonna be so long. Sometimes Leo, get down. <laughs> um, so yeah, sometimes you know the the videos be so long and sometimes I want people to be able to get bite-sized pieces of information and bite-sized videos um outside of the long ones even though I truly do enjoy the longer videos more than anything else I enjoy the black news bus on my channel more than anything all right because we just go through a range of different things from happy bad sad good exciting positive whatever right um it's definitely my favorite but I understand everybody doesn't have the bandwidth or the ability to sit and watch two hour and 47 minute videos. And so sometimes these bite size one, they, they really work. And especially when I'm going live, almost kind of like back to back. So I'm trying to get into that groove. It's 1025. I'm going to get off here. I'm, I think I'm going to just eat me a salad when I get off of here. Cause if I eat anything else, I'm going to get the ice. If I get anything else, I'm going to get the ice. <laughs> so I do have a sticky note prepared for you all for the Black News Bus. There's a lot of stuff we're going to be discussing. I'm not even going to tell you what it is. You definitely want to make sure you subscribe. You definitely want to make sure that you hit the notification bell if you have not already. But look, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for being on the bus stop, sucking on your lollipop, waiting for your girl Jane to come pick you up. Thank you so much for checking out the community tab. If you've already subscribed to the backup, thank you. Okay, it is the third link down below in the description box at TPJ. You'll see it. It is blue. Don't forget to do something to pour into yourself today and tell me what you having for dinner. Because let me tell you, I'm having some homemade crab cakes. We made about like eight homemade crab cakes yesterday. And obviously we didn't eat them all. And we also made some chili yesterday too. Me and my audio engineer. Okay. And so we're having our leftover surf and turf today. Oh, and the audio engineer, he also made a steak, but I'm good on that. I, I can just, I'm good with the chili and the crab cake, okay? You know, here in Baltimore, Maryland, crab cakes is what we be doing. Shout out to Old Bay. Um, Miss Parker, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. It says, TPJ, perhaps her sister, ooh, murdered him. And being in his sister's murder and him being in the military have triggered these deep-rooted issues. What year was his sister taken out, though? Because if it was before 2002, was... Because I do remember that being a part of his story. Yeah. Because if it was before the first incident... Okay, it was before the first incident. It was in 1994. She was 29 years old. That might be one of the contributing variables, but that's not an excuse. Um, again, when you're looking at people like this who have so much money, so much access, um, there's no excuse for them to not get help. There, there's, there's no excuse. If it was a regular everyday person on the street, they, they can't use it. It's, it's, it's the same with R. Kelly. It's unfortunate that his sister molested him. It's unfortunate that the, the man up the street and around the corner molested him. And when it came time for court, the man gave his mother $5,000 and R. Kelly's mother never showed up to court because that was hush money that she took. And she felt like that's the, this is the money I need for survival. It's unfortunate. But that's not an excuse for you to go ahead and project and create trauma to inflict on other people. It's not okay. It's not okay. Okay. Now, one thing that I do want to say is he should have been arrested a long time ago for rocking this brave bob. For rocking this brave bob. What's this about? He need to be mad at himself. You know who the only person who can get away with this brave bob with synthetica, hair, yakky, and the burned ends? The only other person that could get away with it is Kel Mitchell from Good Burger. Mm-hmm. That's the only other person. Mystical's mad at himself and he need to get it together. Okay? He need to get it together. I've always thought he had something to do with ooh. Ooh. Yeah, Mystical need to get it together. He did. These men thought <laughs> shady cakes. He need to be mad at himself. No, he wasn't arrested for this Bob, but he should have been. 
but he should have been. No, matter of fact, when we talk about men, those are the only two. But Maxine Shaw from Living Single, Maxine Shaw, attorney at law, and Kel Mitchell, that's it. That's it. Other than that, stay away. Stay away. <laughs> stay away. Okay? Yeah, three strikes. Okay? Three strikes. You're out. But look, thank you all so much for coming through. This was one of those shows that um, I saw somebody saying, thank you for the trigger one. Is, look, you're more than welcome. Okay? You are more than welcome. Someone says you would think he would respect women more considering what's happened to his sister. You would think, but, you know, he just, again, when we go back to the lyrics from his songs, it seems he's always just harbored onto this aggression. I showed up with my in my hand. Don't make me leave here with my foot in your... So if somebody's threatening to put their in your ass, it means that you're not doing what you want them to do. And so you show up with your... And then you're trying to put your foot in somebody because they didn't want to give it to you. And then you're saying, don't worry about how I'm ripping it. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Not with it. I'm not with it. He needs to stop. He's out of pocket. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, shoulders. my God. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> I can't. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Y'all make sure y'all say beautiful, black, and blessed. Subscribe on your way out. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out. And also make sure y'all drop some pancakes for your girl. Okay? I'm going to catch y'all in less than an hour for the next video. Okay? Y'all stay healthy. Pour your drinks. Roll up your libations. Or prepare your dinner. I'm going to see you soon. Deuces. <laughs> but that's it. If you want to catch more of my commentary on black culture or vital and trending information, be sure to subscribe by hitting that little circle in the middle of the screen. Or I'll catch you in one of these rectangles to the right in another video. I'll see you there.